Hello again. I'm back at it, this time with a chrono staff to kill an ice golem that hopefully we will get. And I've got these double swords, my favorite looking swords. They look freaking awesome. Um, and yeah, here we go. Uh, I'm doing a save dungeon that usually has an ice golem in it. So I'm going to hope that this time we do get an ice golem. I actually just started a recording and went like halfway through the dungeon just to realize there was no ice golem. Um, so yeah, hopefully we come across an ice golem and I can show you how this chrono staff absolutely demolishes it compared to doing it the traditional way of bombs. Like it was designed to be killed. Okay, we also we got keys in here. I'm gonna quickly go through here, get the keys, get the gold, whatnot. All right, and that was what two keys. Yep. Okay, off we go into this room. There's also always a key right here. Um, I, b I believe in this room. That's that's always gonna be there. Ooh, beautiful. Wow, I totally whiffed. Oh. From what? Oh, the barrel. Okay. Interesting. Alright, so we're going this way. Um, the map is basically a straight line with a bunch of corridors out to the right and left. Um, give me some gold. Oh, wow. Man, I'm just I'm missing all over the place. Okay. Oh, we got a key there. I didn't, didn't know that's there usually. We got some gold I can grab through the, the window. Glitching my hands out. And then we got this chest here. Give me that gold. And potion. Already full on potions. Go on over here. Alright. Here we go with the with the key. And I guess I'll show what I got here. Power gem. What else we got? Invisibility. And large guard. Okay. Nice and useless. Let's go. And back to the main dungeon. Uh, get some gold. And keep on going. Okay. Give me an ice golem, please. Yes! Okay. Here is the ice golem. Traditionally, well, he, he's going to throw those rocks. And I don't know why I'm saying traditionally. It's not like this game is a tradition yet. But, yeah, so he throws rocks. He charges at you. Right now, I'm in a, in a cheeky position where he can't actually do anything to me unless I get really close. Um, but even so, he has to charge or throw a rock. So I can just observe how cute he is right there. Um, also, cool dragons up there. But yeah, so I can get a bomb for myself. Grab the bomb. Do a little toss. Ba-bang. This is the... Uh, I'm just going to use it. The traditional way of killing him. The uh, intentional way or how the game was designed. You're supposed to throw bombs at them. Um, however, you can also use the Chrono Staff. You can use Ice Staff on regular golems, I believe. Uh, but the Chrono Staff, you just kind of flick at them. I, it, it's, it's hard to miss. If you're like aiming over here or whatnot, I guess you can miss. But even the little boulders over there, you can hit. And then you just come down here and chop away until he is dead. And then you get frozen by him. But it doesn't matter because there's nothing else to attack you. So put me down like about half health. Not quite. And do a little open of the chest. And I'll, I'll see what I get there. But yeah, so I, I didn't know the uh, the Chrono staff did that for a while. And I, I kind of just heard rumors of it on the Discord and whatnot. Um, but never tested it myself until recently. And now that I have, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Um, kind of cool actually. At the same time, it's it's kind of cheeky. Die. Okay. I. Oh no, I'm good. I was thinking about using thinking about using the Chrono Staff, but I'm good. Um, against ice stuff, you some thought like ice archers. It's oh, that's not an archer. Oh well. But he's a one hit kill. That's an archer. It's it's good to slow these archers so that they can't kill you before you kill them. Um, or, or at least even touch you. If they hit you with one arrow, bada bing, you're dead. Okay. Oh, dude up there too. Alright, and that used all of my thing. Alright. Oh, we got another gem right there. I can plop it on in. 
Ah. Mr. Zombie. Love that. It's very satisfying when they're just you hit them and they're they're attacking you and then they just fall down. <laughs> it's great stuff. All right. Oh, I got to go this way first. Uh, I didn't mean to take that. No haste potions. So I, I can't can't just speed run my way through. I got a map. That's nice. Yo, yo. Oh. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, give me that gold and kill him before he gets up. Toss his body. Didn't even mean to do that, but oh yeah. Kill this dude. Chop, chop. Ooh. There we go. And grab this lever over here. Kaching. Might as well get a health potion while I'm at it. I'm really close to my boundary. Oops. Get a key. Always there. Some gold over here. Useless gold. Grab my key and bam. Let's see what I get. But yeah, so <clears throat> Chrono Staff. Nice stuff. You can see the map. Yeah, we're just going straight with the little corridors off to the side throughout. Um, I didn't even see what I got in that chest, but I'm sure you might have. But yeah, here we go. Continuing on down. Going to the left. But map, I believe the map always spawns in the same spot as where it does the first time if it's a save dungeon. Um, oh, dang. Come on, man. Tanky, dude. All right, watch this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go really high, and then bonk him. Never mind. Never mind. That's tough. Okay. Yeah, if you ever have trouble killing those scorpions, it's good to just slice their tails off, because it's the highest point in their hitbox. Um. Yeah. <laughs> and they can also block your arrows as well which is kind of weird but makes them a little unique jump kill all right oh my goodness i just swung my fist with nothing in it i didn't even see that guy oh chopped down ah he jumped at me while i was jumping at him You're not allowed to do that it's crazy all right, yeah, I feel like those ice guys are just slower than, <laughs> than normal. I can always get that first hit off, no problem. Um, oh, wow, that was a snipe. Holy crap. Okay, yeah, no, I, this is, this is spooky. Gotta kill those guys before they kill me. Oh, wow, that's beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so that's that's what realistic uh, physics does. It makes it a little unrealistic, as in the collision. Okay, here we go. That opens that. I'm going to go over here first, though, because this does not go to the finish. I do not want to finish it up quite yet. Ah, I almost couldn't reach him. Oh. Ah. Come on. Good, good. So many scorpions. It's crazy. Oh, that is. Oh, shoot. Wow. Ooh. Here we go. Doing it with my non dominant hand. What a boss. Oh, that's not good. I guess it kind of helped me kill him. <laughs> 25 health. Oops. Oh, man, explosive barrels are spooky. Get some more gold. No, I don't need it. And up to the top. Some more health that I don't need, that I can't need. All right, cool. Tier 3 chest at the very top up here. <coughs> Ooh, looking up makes my throat hurt. Oh, that was pretty cool. 
catching. Yeah, jump kills are fun in this game. Basically any game, even uh, flat screen stuff. It's just satisfying. Oh wow, I didn't know he had that kind of range. Crazy. All right, up I go, jump on in. Five keys, man, I'm loaded. And grab this. Oof. Yeah, see, my inventory pops up as stuff comes out because I forgot to look at the chest. <laughs> so I could have just killed myself. But I didn't. So yay. Gold. All right. So I actually did this dungeon first with a friend that has barely played this game. Oh, wow. Um, and when we played it, we lost. I do not lose dungeons very often, but it was it was an exception. I was caught off guard. Um, kind of just I had a bow, and I was just sitting in this corner over here and sniping away at whatever. And then I I thought for sure I was gonna hit this one guy that was coming at me, but then I didn't. What in the world is this guy doing? He was trying to decide between. Which path should I take? That way or this way? Yeah, I might as well just use that. <laughs> ka -ching. Oh. Da -da 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 -da. Nice. Whew. Those big jumps. Big jumps from the big boys. But yeah, so I, I died over here just trying to snipe some dudes, and uh, my partner was over there. He got demolished. Oh, shoot. That's not good. Oh, wow. We got tons of archers. Come on. Give me my, my freedom. Come on. Okay. We're good. Uh, oh, another one. We're good. Okay. Oh, shucks. Give me, oh no! It was this dude. He's a sniper. Oh wow. It's all three of these guys. Come on. We're good. But yeah, those guys die in one hit, so I don't even need to take out my swords. Ugh. What else we got? <laughs> oh, big boy. That guy's spooky. Um, He will demolish you if you are not careful but I think the uh, chrono staff is kind of like uh, well it, it is like it is for the ice golem where in the world is this other wait I gotta hear the beeping oop I heard it oh right there I'm blind <laughs> um but yeah, so I think the Chrono Staff, it does 43 damage is, is my specific one, I think. Um, and so I think it does that amount of damage per hit. Uh, every time the beam locks on, it stuns something. That's how much damage it's doing. Um, but for the Golem, it's not about damage. It's about stunning him. You just stun him three times and he goes down. Then you do all the damage by whacking him. Um, but like that Ice Sorcerer, he probably had very little hit points just because he's ice. And so just hitting him two times with this staff was enough to kill him. So I guess that was about like 80, maybe 100 damage. Um, but yeah, so that, that was that. That was the Ice Golem. Uh, if you ever need to cheese the Ice Golem, that is exactly how you do it. Grab the Chrono Staff, you're good to go. But other than that, see you in the next video. Peace out.